Hello and welcome to this video on citric acid cycle, a process of extracting energy from acetyl CoA, which is a molecule derived from carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. The citric acid cycle, also known as the Krebs cycle or tricarboxylic acid cycle or TCA, is a series of chemical reactions which take place in the matrix of the mitochondria in eukaryotes or in the cytoplasm in prokaryotes. The citric acid cycle is the second stage of cellular respiration which is the process of converting organic molecules into energy. The citric acid cycle requires oxygen and produces carbon dioxide as a waste product. The name of this metabolic pathway comes from the first molecule formed during this cycle's reaction, citrate, or its protonated form, citric acid. The citric acid cycle was discovered by Sir Hans Adolf Krebs, who received the Nobel Prize for his work in 1957. Before entering to the TCA cycle, pyruvate, the product of glycolysis, is converted into acetyl-CoA by the enzyme pyruvate dehydrogenase, which removes a carbon dioxide and adds a coenzyme A. The citric acid cycle is an eight-step process. Step 1. Formation of citrate. In this step, acetyl-CoA combines with the oxaloacetate to form citrate. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme citrate synthase and releases coenzyme A. Citrate synthase is inhibited by high levels of ATP or NADH which indicate that there is enough energy available for the cell. Step 2. Isomerization of citrate. In this step, citrate is converted into its isomer, isocitrate. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme aconitase and involves the removal and addition of water molecules. The hydroxyl group moves from one carbon to another. Step 3. Oxidation and decarboxylation of isocitrate. In this step, isocitrate is oxidized and decarboxylated to form alpha-ketoglutarate. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme isocitrate dehydrogenase and transfers electron to NAD+, to form NADH and H+. One molecule of carbon dioxide is released by this process. Step 4 oxidation and decarboxylation of alpha-ketoglutarate. In this step, alpha-ketoglutarate is oxidized and decarboxylated to form succinyl-CoA. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase and transfers electron to NAD+, to form NADH and H+. Step 5. Phosphorylation of succinyl-CoA. In this step, succinyl-CoA is converted into succinate. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme succinyl-CoA synthetase and transfers phosphate group to GDP to form GTP. This is the only step in the citric acid cycle that directly produces ATP or GTP. Step 6. Oxidation of succinate. In this step, succinate is oxidized to form fumarate. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme succinate dehydrogenase and transfers electrons to FAD to form FADH2. Step 7. Hydration of fumarate. In this step, fumarate is hydrated to form malate. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme fumarase and involves the addition of a water molecule. Step 8. Oxidation of malate. In this step, malate is oxidized to form oxaloacetate. 
This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme malate dehydrogenase and transfers electron to NAD plus to form NADH at H plus.